I love coming here every day. My teammates and I, it's like we're a family. We're always pushing each other to get better and better. I'm a very competitive person, and I think being around competitive people all the time is really helpful. The guys are amazing. They're super welcoming, and it was really easy to fit, fit in here. I was really nervous coming in as a grade 10, um, being the youngest in the school, playing ball with all these grade 12s and 19-year-olds, but we all came together as a team, and it was a great school year. We're like a team. So you already have like whatever 17 girls that you know that you can hang out with at school. So that's a really good like way for like to make new friends. Everyone feels as a team, no matter what level you play at in ball, like once you get to academy, you're part of the Falcon team. And that's kind of the culture we've tried to create here. And I think the kids have really, really bought in. Now that we have this, like the cages in the gym, we are able to do stuff all year round and get better all year round, like the kids in the States. At any one time, we could have cages going, we could have a full infield on, on the other side going as well, and pitchers are able to throw pens, and just, you can do everything pretty much you could do outside. And then we have a weight room upstairs, the kid gets, kid, kids get, get lots of lifting in, and kind of have the full package here. So it really sets us apart, I think, from a lot of the other academies is just the space we have to be able to do what we do. Sometimes you come in and it might it look like organized chaos a little bit so there might be infielders doing things and, and we have kids hitting in the cages while pitchers are throwing bullpens on one side so the amount of space that, that we have and we're fortunate to use it's been you know for for to be able to to make full-size game like throws at a, at a distance is it, it is huge. And, it's unbelievable, like just to see what they have going here and with you know, all this technology pieces and these other guys that are, you know, coming to help out. I think, uh, you know, hopefully these kids, hopefully one day they realize what kind of opportunity having something like this in your backyard is like, right? So, you know, you see facilities in the States and you see facilities all over Canada. This, you know, this matches up with all of them. You can literally run a full practice inside here. Um, the school obviously has been incredibly supportive. They have all the state-of-the-art technology with Repsoto, um, you know, the blast sensors, uh, you know, all the uh, different bats, weighted balls, you name it. Um, these, these athletes are incredibly lucky to have not just the coaches um, that are willing to work with them, but kind of all the tools as well. The coaches are great. They've since day one. They've helped me so much. From wherever skill level I've been at each point, they they can help you develop from wherever you're starting. All these coaches have had uh, past experience playing high levels of ball, so they all know um, exactly what they're talking about. Every day we have new coaches come in, like, and they're all really good. They all help us out. My mechanics are like so much better than. Me. They were like two, I guess two years ago, but like I was watching videos from grade nine and now and it's just like the difference is crazy. They're getting top level coaches. In addition, our coaches at that high level can bring other coaches in because of their relations and their associations. We've been able to build a staff of, of special, special people that, you know, they all care about kids and, um, you know, want what's best for kids. and. We're all willing to help out in any way we can for, for, for these kids to help them help them reach their goals and you know very very credible coaches that have you know high level of experience playing and coaching. Jason is really awesome at um, developing those relationships with some of those colleges and we've developed a relationship with those coaches and you know when we have somebody with that we know has that talent that can play at that level it's nice to be like take a look at this video and we've got this player coming up. My hitting was a big thing. I spent over seven months working on my swing, all the little minor details. I spent my lunches here, I spent my spares here, I spent um, my extra work period here. Like, I was always in here hitting. They give you like your own little schedule of like how to make you better at your position and stronger and like make you faster. We get individual plans and I do routine stuff every single day and slowly get better at it. Like no matter who you are and what your skill level is, they'll increase it. If they want to put more work into it, into it we'll, we'll stay after and help them. So there's times after school, the kids will stay and hit for 45 minutes after school and work on, on, on different things. And I think that's where a lot of the kids really, really improve. 
For me, the goal of the academy is to be able to be versatile and offer multiple goals to multiple kids based on what their situation is and what their goals are. Two times a week is unreal for a middle school and coming over here is, I guess, a bit of work, but it really pays off. All the equipment helps us develop and the coaches are using it quite effectively. Getting them excited and interested early um, really helps build those skills and when they hit the ground in like when they get outside in May and April for their seasons they just hit the ground running because they've already been playing all year. The transition when they come from junior high to high school this is no longer a, a, a uncharted territory they've been here they've been here twice a week for for a long time and to see the, the amount of growth in them in a short period of time is is phenomenal. They get off the bus and they come in the field house, they're just, their smiles. You know, they're getting two practices a week in all winter long. So just that in itself, just those extra touches of the ball and, and that confidence when it comes to spring, when we hit the shale, like you just see their confidence is through the roof. To get their practicing and their training and during the day and to come home and have that time to do homework and to be with their families. And, you know, a lot of girls at the high school level want to work and, you know, save up some money and they're not having to sacrifice everything else in their life to make it happen. Huge percentage of our kids are, are still still playing hockey and, and basketball and volleyball and really special to see a lot of our kids, um, you know, participating and, and having a lot of success in our school sports. Like I, I wake up in the morning, I come to school and I get baseball second block of the day as a class. Like that's awesome. Baseball, volleyball, I got work. I coach too. I got a volleyball team I coach as well. Being able to go and help others, get better myself, work, get an education, like that's, that's all you can really ask for. We definitely have a lot of students that are very academic driven as well as athletically driven because that hard work and work ethic just transfers back to the classroom. I signed at Minot State University. I'm starting there um, as a 2021 freshman. I'm a science-based academic uh, student and they've got lots of programs there. I've got tons of options. We do take a look at finances and scholarships and what some of the entrance requirements are. They don't have to do this by themselves. It's a I'm used to this process, not just with athletes, but I'm used to this proce process with all students in grade 12, that it's, it's supposed to be overwhelming. They're, they're kids and they're just figuring it out. So athletes that are going to play in the States, it's that much more overwhelming, but they're not doing it by themselves. So we've thought about those things. We work really, really well together here at St. Joe's. They will go on to post-secondary and continue to succeed at whatever level. The teachers have been good, the classes have been nice, the school is really nice. It's taught me a lot of responsibility, um, a lot of accountability. The school is amazing. All the teachers have been really good and the school itself is a very nice uh, facility to be in. There's tons of help that if you need it. I love it. It's been amazing. I think it ha helps a lot of people have a drive to do good in everything they do, including school. Definitely grown as a person. My work ethic has definitely improved that will uh, impact me and help me through college. And I don't wake up in the morning and I think, wow, I gotta go to school. Like it's, wow, I get to go to school today. I switched schools in my grade 12 year and don't regret it one bit. They really gave me a great experience. From the facilities, the coaching, the atmosphere, I couldn't have asked for a better experience. They welcomed me with open arms and I was actually excited to go to school every single day. The academy prepared me very well for the transition from high school to college baseball. I've been fortunate enough to visit the academy multiple times on an annual basis and have been impressed time and again with the facilities and resources provided to their student athletes. Whether they go on to play baseball or softball, if that's their goal, or whether or not, like when they leave the program, we want, we want them to be as prepared as possible, you know, you know for, for post-secondary or, or real life. And A kid that wants to kind of get to the next level and, and just have a really great high school experience. This is a, a program that I think we've created a culture that can really get you through the, the high school years and, and make you a better, a better player and hopefully a better person as well.